Now a little bit about of our about our um, EM3 meter. It's the electric and magnetic field meter. Um, we're getting pretty good response range on there as well. You know, starting about 50 hertz all the way up between between 100 and 150 kilohertz, maybe even a little bit higher. We're in final testing with that as well. So it's a three-in-one meter. It does electric fields, magnetic fields, and body voltage. Um, developed in North America. We're trying to get it to a professional level here too. We will have it certified plus and minus 0.5 dB or better. Um, we're working through that testing at this point. So also having one of these with the Safe and Sound Pro 2 makes sense and um, a little bit more cost effective than the NFA 1000 except we're not getting 3D electric fields. We'll, we'll only get one, D, one, one dimension electric fields but um, that's life. 3D electric fields are in the future. We've we've understood and what we have to do to, to, to get that working um, during the development of this meter. So that that can come in the future. It'll have a digital OEL display powered by battery or USB for continuing monitoring as well, like we do with all of our meters. Um, sources it'll detect power lines, home electrical wiring, appliances, anything that consumes AC power, and three axis mag field, one axis E field and body voltage meter as well. So looking around the 600 mark, 599, and approximately August 2023 is when we're looking at a release date for that. And um, as we're measuring E fields and doing some testing, we can go from 16 Hertz all the way to 170 kilohertz. And uh, the M fields, we're looking at 16 to about 120 kilohertz. Body voltage will cover the whole range of E fields, 16 Hertz to 170 kilohertz. and building in certain frequency filters as well. Um, for Europe, we've got the 16.7 for rail systems. We'll have a filter that shows you what's above 50 hertz, what's above 60 hertz, and what's above 2 kilohertz. So you can figure out your dirty electricity readings in the electric or magnetic field components there. And um, again, um, one axis electric, three axis mag, and basically body voltage is three axis. If you hold that probe in your hand, your body is, is measuring electric fields from all sides as well too so you can kind of consider that three axis too and power the power we're getting we're able to measure with this e fields uh, 0.1 will be the sensitivity all the way up to about 2000 volts per meter and mag fields 0 0.0 um, 1 milligauss to 100 milligauss body voltage one down to 1 millivolt to um, 5000 millivolts in that range so that's kind of what we're looking at. It will have a max hold on it. It'll have an audio Geiger count ticking sound and um, it'll be lab tested as well. Um, we're looking at around plus or minus 0.5 dB in accuracy. So we've been at this for six months. Um, the millimeter wave has slowed us down a little bit, but we'll be focusing on this in the next month or so, try and get it out there as quick as we can. And future ideas, we could separate and get a separate body voltage meter. Um, we could. We'd also really like to do a basic electric and magnetic field meter as well too. So that's that's on our mind as well. Try and get the price down a little bit for the for the average user also. Um, yeah, okay, I have a question that's for about that one. It. I'd like to thank you guys. Uh, go ahead, Peter. Yeah. Uh, where is the sensor on which plane? The electric field sensor. Uh, it'll be y-axis. It'll be uh, uh, front. right out the front, so it'll detect yeah. this direction here. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, what is the price range that you're targeting for this meter that you're, you're showing here and you're describing here, roughly? This one is about five ninety nine. Okay. With the three, um, three features, um, body voltage, um, 3D mag, and single axis electric. And um, it is truly it truly goes to uh, those frequencies that we specify. We have tested numerous other meters that don't even come close to the specifications that they state. So um, to actually get it up this high is, yeah, the cost of the components significant, significantly increases. Um, so well, um, well, that's the claim that we can make. When you say to get it up this high, you mean to measure at the high end of the frequency range that you're showing at the top of the slide? That, that's correct, yes. So. Well, to be honest, okay, uh, I hear you. But, but honestly, I think uh, we so rarely see 
Oh, oh, you mean the frequency range? Well, that would be for dirty electricity. That's correct, Oram. Yeah, we wanted to get as high as a frequency range for dirty electricity as we could. Yeah. Well, um, okay, granted. Uh, um, just some feedback. I think it, just out on the field, uh, we have a couple of other ways of measuring dirty electricity with the plug-in that's in green wave meters and Alpha Labs meter, and then also our uh, picoscope and, and O1 and so on. Um, uh, although I, I, I appreciate what you're trying to do here. Uh, what I appreciate is that this will be uh, a very accurate three axis magnetic field meter uh, and body voltage meter. I think that's really important for, for my clients uh, and for the general public out there, people who call me up, you know, and I'll just say, uh, you really want to get a body voltage meter because um, the only other option for them and for us uh, is uh, that's accurate is is the three axis gigahertz solutions uh, NFA 1000. Right, right. Uh, you know, that's it. But that's $2,000. Uh, the the you know, I applaud the uh, Alpha Labs uh, with the Trifield 2 and uh, also the Coronet company companies for coming up with an electric field setting on their TF2 and, and ED883 plus uh, combination meters, but the problem is they're, they're, uh, um, it's, it's a great improvement from the sensitivity of the old 100XE tri-field, which was woefully insensitive for both electric fields and radio frequencies, um, but it's still single axis and, and it's just, it's not as sensitive as a body voltage meter or, or as the NFA 1000, but there's a big price gap there. So you've brought that down and if you, if you end up and making a separate well you have your body voltage kit for 130 us dollars so that that's really helpful right. um and also Orm, with this meter too we, you know how we've in building biology we've defined dirty electricity as anything above 60, 60 hertz, hertz. yeah so we have a setting for that here which no oh. other meter has as well mm -hmm. i got that so and then the other thing is um uh let's see so yeah separating out the body voltage meter and basic magnetic electric field meter. I, I presume that would be still be three axis to get that down into the uh, a couple hundred dollar range or something like that. Right, right. That's what we're looking at on them. Yep. Very good. For more information about the new Safe and Sound EM3 meter, the Safe and Sound Pro Millimeter Wave Meter, and other EMF mitigation products, please visit our website at www.safelivingtechnologies.com.